Finally, we're getting another pirate game. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Corsair's Legacy. You know, a few weeks ago, Tortuga Pirate's Life came out, and ever since then, you guys have been asking me to play it more, and, you know, there was a lot of great things to love about that game. An open-world experience in the Caribbean, and it had a lot of crew management and a fleet management, as well as paying all of your crew, you know, dividing the booty and raiding harbors. Uh, but it was also turn-based, which I really liked, but a lot of you had said that you wanted to see things in third or first person. Now, to be fair, we have a lot of games like that, such as Sea of Thieves and also the Pirate's Life update or whatnot for that to make it more Pirates of the Caribbean. And of course, we have the Assassin's Creed Black Flag too, but a lot of those are old, and I think we really need more games around piracy. So luckily, we have Corsair's Legacy, which is free, by the way because of its demo on Steam for the Steam Next event, so make sure you check it out. It might not always be free forever, but, you know, it's a good thing to try, because, of course, we can now pilot the ship, we can, you know, drive the ship and reload the cannons and act as a member of the crew. This does have realistic boarding in third person and also first person in terms of firing the cannons, so it's got first and third person elements and also multiple ships that now, I don't know if you can give commands to, but you can have a pirate fleet that eventually goes to, from one-to-ones to 2v2s to and so on and so forth, at least for their demo. Now, apparently it seems to be a game where we can pull into port and buy ships and supplies and become a pirate captain or a uh, legacy of a Corsair, if you will. Uh, but there are many great pirate games out there. And I want to know from you other ones that you remember from the past that you think are damn good that you think I should... Uh, cover or that stand out that you think other games have taken a thing or two from or games that are coming in the future such as uh, what is it uh, skull and bones if that ever comes out i don't know i i hope it's good because i just want more great pirate games hopefully this is one of them again it's made by uh, not a triple a team so it's you know more of an indie dev thing but that can't be a, a bad thing all the time because you know if the big guys aren't going to do it somebody has to and so usually these indie devs are games made by gamers for gamers with the whole passion of making a real good project. Well, I love the opening splash screen here, and I love the uh, intro cutscenes and all the visuals for it. So without further ado, let's take our first look at Corsair's Legacy. Let's go. All right, and finally, here we are underway. Let's take a look at some of our controls and also our ship. Very nicely detailed, too, by the way, with lights on board shining off the sails. Looks gorgeous. The crew kind of moseying around a little bit, tending to the cannons and other needs on the ship. And Judy here having some statuses in the upper left corner that we're going to take a look at before we engage the enemy's ship just off in the distance. So green indicates hull status. White indicates sail status, and red indicates crew status. So obviously green in order to stay afloat, white in order to keep on moving, and crew kind of to do both with the manning of cannons and also the uh, rigging as well that has to be moved around in order for us to move around. So shell selection, we have a myriad of different weapons. We have cannonballs, canister shot, bar shot, and bombs. That's pretty cool. And it looks like we might also be able to... Uh, well, I guess they might give that a different name. Isn't that called grape shot and chain shot? Are those the same? Are they asynonymous i guess i don't know and we also have an info on the shells too under u and m but uh, we'll do that when we're manning the cannons all right let's go ahead and uh, get underway and see what we can see so if we press q we can see the enemy ship through the spyglass wherever it may be there that's a horrible horrible look but i guess that'd be accurate as to what the crew could see and if we right click we can take command of the uh, cannons just before we fire so we can actually see the um, 
yeah, the cannons from first person perspective of the crew. We'll go ahead and fire off a few cannonballs and see if we can damage these guys. But ultimately, I also want to try to board them and see how the boarding is in this game. So let's go ahead and continue to uh, wait for the enemy to approach. Oh, there they are. Okay, they're almost there. They're going to approach our starboard side. And then hopefully we can turn and fire our port guns if we can make a tight enough turn. But we're flying pretty Lower quickly here. I'm going to try to lower the sails and try to slow us down a little bit. Looks like they might be doing the same to turn and burn on us. Let's go ahead and prepare to fire. Oh, nice. Incoming. Fire! And now going on to them, too. Full speed ahead. They caused a little damage to our sails. We caused a little damage to their hull. Let's go ahead and fire again as soon as we can. You can see the reloading process in the upper right corner, that green bar that's going up. Right side for starboard, starboard left side for the port. Fire. Guns ready again. Nice. Hitting the deck, killing a few crew or wounding them and also damaging their ship. Looks like they're trying to stay away from us. I want to try to board these guys. Uh, the wind is now kind of blowing against us. Wow, and they aimed way up high at our sails. I would love to see how effective sails would be uh, against chain shot. I'd like to load that soon. Let's go ahead and make sure we're keep, keeping on moving here. Boy, we were making some real tight turns. I think we're almost dead in the water here. Go ahead and turn into the wind. We can actually see the gusts. Ready to fire. Trying to move as best we can. There we go. Trying to slow but not stop. Let's go to our starboard si port side now. Fire. Nice. Both ships causing quite a bit of damage there. They're going to hurt our sails, so let's get in close before we lose the ability to do so. Try to fire one more time, maybe canister. Oh, canister shot! Both cannons are reloading. Hopefully there's a way to only uh, reload one cannon type. You know, like maybe you want the port side to be canister shot and then the other side to be down the chains. Ship. Oh, here we go. We're going in for it. Slow down the ship. Let's board them. Grappling hooks to the board. Oh, man. There's even a cutscene for actual boarding. Very nice. Whoa, and we're into the fight already. Okay. Uh, let's see. This guy's going to fight. Get back, homie. Oh, nice. Actually sweet to be fighting crew to crew like this. Here, take one of these. Well, I don't want to target the guy to my right. I want to target the guy in front of me. There we go. Looks like we have controls here, too. Uh, interact. Okay. Oh, boy. We're almost dead. <laughs> Obviously, we're going to lose a crew member or two. But we get to fight as the whole crew, not just one character. Get that guy in the back of the head. Oh boy, we got both these guys against us. The shooting is really weird. It goes like far to the right for some reason. You may as well turn to the left when you're about to shoot. Like if you're, if you're going to shoot this guy in front of us, you have to turn almost to this direction. Yeah, and then like shoot like that. Kind of weird. Let's keep going. Oh, hell. That was a pretty... Wow, that was a smooth boarding, boys. I thought we were going to take way more losses. Oh, cool. There's crew over the edge of the deck, too. All right, we won that one. Nicely done. What's up now? All right, not bad for a little practice warm-up. Very good indeed. Oh, yeah. Straight to the bottom. Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, yeah. Wow, and, and it's sinking. No repairs for us and no speed ahead. indication of booty that we got, but I guess that's just set up for the tutorial or the, uh, the demo. All right, round 2 of 10, wind Full against us again. Ahead. But a friendly ship with us. We have another pirate ship with us. Cool. And our paint job looks great. So let's look at this in greater detail. I hope there's a lot of ship customization in terms of colors, materials. Uh, maybe we can get different types of sails and weapons on board. Different types of cannons, which would then be capable of different uh, ranges and damage at certain distances. I'd love for more strategy like that. And that is a different ship than us. That's not a Corsair over there, I believe. Or at least the back end looks different. Possibly opening the door for customization. 
All right, let's try a canister. canister shot. I want to try to board again. Let's go Decelerate. a little slower. I don't want to shoot these guys. I want to We're shoot these to guys. Open fire. All right, get ready to fire those canisters. Oh boy. Open fire. Wow. That was like point blank into them. Forward, I hope that caused sail. a lot of damage. Wow, I was expecting a lot more damage than that. I'm actually bummed out a little bit. British ships though, so rather than fighting what seemed to be Starboard Spanish troops. Yeah, instead of uh, Spanish troops, we're now fighting against uh, the English. Trying to get out of this guy's way. It's hard to tell exactly where the uh, wind is coming from here. Are you going to board me? Took a little damage there. Not a big deal. But we need to face north in order to go with the wind. I don't know if there's a way to adjust our sails that way. Now let's fire again. That is an ally we don't want to shoot. No, it's an enemy. But I want to engage this ship regardless. Party, get ready! All right, let's board them. Oh, cool! They actually changed their appearance. Nice. Wow, and things are wrecked. Get back, homie. I have no idea who I'm engaging. I'm, I'm trying to like fight against the guy on the right there, but. Okay, one down, nice. That doesn't look like he's gonna last too much longer. <laughs> I like the spin. Very fashionable death. Damn, our crew is capable. Well, hell, why sink him when you can board him? Yeah, wow. Anybody left? Oh, he doesn't stand much of a chance at all. We did it, boys. Nice work. So, you know, since we're pirates, we're stealing enemy ships. We might get their crew members to join us. And this is the best way to get the booty intact. And it's all about the booty when you're a pirate. So, you know, though it's really important to be able to lower the enemy's defenses by firing off canister shot. You know, why sink them like that when you can actually get a lot ahead. more benefit from basically GTA, Grand Theft Tortuga, I suppose. Well, in this case, Corsair's Legacy, but you know what I mean. I still appreciate the uh, world that they've crafted here and how things look. I want to see more of details now to be able to manage our ship more effectively and get possible more ships, too. Start with the Corsair and work our way up to multiple cannons and multiple cannon decks. All right, let's... Uh, and we got the wind completely against us here. There's got to be a way to turn our sails and do a few more things like that, but I guess we'll just turn into the wind and... Make do with what we got. Roll the sail. Also, it seems like things take place very quickly in the wind, uh, but also it's very slow to move when we are uh, like when we don't have it in our sails, a hundred percent. And uh, even when we try to slow down, of course, that takes a little bit of time by adjusting the sails. It's not going to be immediate, as you would imagine. Right, let's get ready to engage them again. Regular cannonballs this time. Let's see if we can sink them legitimately now. Open fire! Oh, nice. We completely destroyed their sails. They're not going anywhere. Nice shot, boys. Boy, why even bother with the... Uh, oh, the sails. we can do uh, two times speed. That's cool. Full speed ahead. I pressed R to reload, but that's automatic. Open fire! Oh, well, they're not going anywhere now. Stop the ship! So I guess we could have, um... Oh, are they gonna get boarded? 
No. So we could have used the chain shot in order to destroy the sails, but I, I mean, if we could just do it with a cannon blast, why not? Port side is ready to fire! We got about the same firing speed as they do, too. Uh, let's go ahead and try to use bombs. Old bombs. Now, do we have to throw those, or... Uh, looks like we can... Maybe they're fired by cannon. No, looks like we can... We may need to get closer. Ready to open fire. No, those were bombs. Okay, maybe we can get a fire on board. Back without uh, sail again, but Forward. we're still Full moving sail. at point five. Nice, we're definitely causing damage here. Full speed ahead. This takes a long time to reload Prepare and we're almost out of crew. Gonna turn out of this one here. We're down to about half crew. I wonder if that actually affects our battle. When we uh, went against the enemy crew before it, we severely outnumbered them, although we didn't really do much to earn that, I think. And our friendly ship there is really doing nothing to help us. I, I, I'm not seeing really much fire coming from them at all. Uh, I wanna we're circle around and board. Let's swing around wide. Fire! There we go, a little bit of damage, but... Yeah, we're about... Uh, th so they're dead in the water, almost about halfway on their health, and they've still got more crew than we do, so maybe boarding would be a good idea, but... I'm not sure how much that affects that. Let's try to go for boarding. Anytime. Starboard cannons are ready to fire. Oh, good hits on the deck. We're almost wiped down on the crew, but we are behind them. Friendly ships not really doing anything to assist. All right, let's go in for a boarding. Look at that. That's cool. Take no prisoners. All right, let's see how different it is now to fight. Uh, looks like they kind of outnumber us, maybe? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I was going to try to shoot this guy. Ooh. Damn, dude's coming back from... A wow, dude came back from a gunshot wound? Wow, that's crazy. Let's see if we can finish these guys off. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to be patient. There's no rush in this. There's no flank attack, it seems. Also, I see in the upper left corner we have, like, a, a number one... But I don't know if we can get veterancy or skills from this. Gonna try to help this guy out. Damn, fa fancy sword work, boys. I, I really don't know how I kick like that, but it's hard to do a two-on-one like that. Let's see if we can go find a winning fight here. We need to assist and get the upper hand. Trying to do light and heavy attacks. There we go, okay. I like how we can play as different characters. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Banner Lords with pirates, really. At least how this battle feels. Sometimes Banner Lords can be a little weird and clunky, and I love it. I love it. I don't want it to be any other way. Boys are coming across the plank. Got to get the advantage over here, too. Wow, okay. Good range. Wow, a high attack, too. 
Headshots don't count. Okay. Noted. Easy to survive a gunshot wound at 1,500 from like a 50 cal. If, if I can't block, he shouldn't be able to block either. Wow! I started my attack earlier and he got me. Uh, lighter attacks probably attack faster. So the heavier attack will do more damage, but the faster attack does more damage through more attacks, you know? You can actually fire off more attacks. Oh, I hope that wasn't a friendly. The light attack just seems like a better call. Nice. Can I back off? I'm going to heal a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. A little bit of rum, y'all. Oh, more, more reinforcements. Oh, no. We're down to just our last couple of guys here. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Wow. They can do a lot of fancy footwork, that's for sure. Too bad our friends aren't really using uh, their weapons intelligently, though. Every single one of these pirates has had a gun to gain the upper hand. I wish they would have used it. Try some heavy attacks here. Wow, this battle is never going to be over. There's there's more crew on the other ship. I thought this was over. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, the enemy could fire back. Nice. First time I've seen that. Okay. Trying to get these guys with the stun lock am animation, you know? Trying to make it so they enter a damage pattern and then we can just kind of keep on mowing them down. Nice. Get wrecked, sir. Holy crap. Are we coming back from this? Glory to Raptoria. Get it going. Not bad for kind of a funky fighter, but I'm having a good time, so I guess what does it matter? Things look cool. This guy was. Oh, I thought he was fist only. I wonder if there's a way to get other ammo. Can I search a body or anything or find ammo on the ship? Or any other weapons? No? Okay. Wow, how the hell are we winning this? No way. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so there definitely is a little bit of a difference, it seems, to the enemy crew numbers based on maybe damage that we've done before we boarded good job boys well both ships are kind of wrecked so we I, I don't think the damage that we see while we boarded really reflects any of the pre-damage it kind of just shows um cannons tipped over uh ropes everywhere ammo everywhere kind of interesting oh now it's Let's 2v3 go, oh that's that's fair yeah that's totally fine I really wish we could get some booty or something to upgrade. I, I would imagine in this game we could also go to the world map to be able to take everything that we'd earn from these battles and bring it back to the shore. But uh, this is nice, though. I mean, so long as we have a system where doing this 
gives us some sort of XP that we could use to spend on our crew and possibly on our captain and then to get better ships and then to also upgrade our fleet so we can work with other pirate captains and then, you know, just have some awesome fleets going. That's what it's going to come down to. Shooting at ships and doing what we've done so far over the last 20 minutes is fun, but very repetitive unless there's a system that brings us out of this. And luckily, there is an open world on the islands, so there is more to this than just being on these ships and just shooting uh, both cannons and uh, crew. I'm going to try to go in and do some more boarding. It's actually quite fun. I'm going to go right for a board and see if I can, like, try to do maybe a flawless attack on these guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can board them right away. Prepare the grappling hooks! Oh, nice. Who the hell is this? Are they... Wait, was it... Are these the Portuguese? I I, don't... I wasn't even paying attention. Also, my guy's have... My guy has health... half health to begin with. Whoa, sir. Did I kill your father? Am I... Should I prepare to die? What is your name? I have ten fingers, sir, not eleven. Oh, damn. Wow, that guy was out for blood. All right, well... Well, and he's already... What the... Sir, sir, with the double... Di all right, introduce you to freedom. Oh my god, whoa! Zoro over here, whoa! Oh, what the hell? Okay, I did a roundhouse kick to the face. I need to learn these specials. Oh, if you hold and try to attack, you could do it. Oh, I'm coming back now. Get them, boys. Oh, they got guns. Why do these guys all look the same? Headshots don't matter, I guess. Damn, well, so much for that flawless victory I was trying to pull off. These guys' uniforms are kick-ass, though. I love how everybody's different. Although everybody kind of has the same sword, it seems like everybody's got a, a cutlass, maybe? Oh, but they're all wearing different hats. All right, kill this guy. All right, on to the other ship. This is absolute madness. But it'd be cool if we could have fights up in the rigging and be able to swing across or something. Hopefully it'll be different per ship. In the boys, I'll hold here. He's aggroed on me. There we go. Nice job. All right. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. <laughs> Everybody's got all these Final Fantasy VII victories. <laughs> they all have their own victory dance. Nice job, boys. It would be cool to be able to get ammo for our ship, too, going down. in the midst of these battles. Now, Forward, full sail. Oh, what flag is that? I don't, honestly, I don't even know. That's not one I recognize. Argentina? No. In, not in this time period. I don't know. Regardless, after that battle, we still have quite a bit of crew. It'd be cool to also be able to command multiple, sh like, take other ships under control and be able to switch between them and do things in first and third person. We got a friendly ship coming over again. Are any of these ships different? No. Looks like they're all the same. I was hoping to see like a sloop and maybe a, uh, I don't know, frigate or something like that. There probably will be more ship types in the future, but to start out with a, a Corsair. Or maybe uh, work up to like Corvettes and things like that would be quite cool. I don't know, there's many different ship types. I can't think of them all. You know, you got galleons and you've got uh, ship of the line and Queen Anne's and all that stuff that could be incorporated, just depending on when they're doing things. I, I think I saw the year when we started a battle. Let's go ahead and try to board again. This is fun. I like the boarding. Just sneaking past us, though. Let's go for cannons. Open fire! Oh, maybe a little damage. Also, it'd be cool to be able to fire the grappling hooks and do a little bit more for the preparation of board. Wow, they plowed in their own ship there, too. Uh, but yeah, it'd be cool to do more for preparation of boarding, like, for example, cleaning up the other crew. Oh, we're, we're down on the sails now. That's nice. Well, let's just go ahead and try to ram them. Here we go. Prepare a boarding party! Alright, last board. Let's go. Same guys. Ninjas. <laughs> The, yeah, look. notice how I had to look far to the left to shoot that guy? You gotta look 90 degrees to the left. Oh, damn. Ninja. And I'm coming out full attack. Oh. 
Two on one. Your worst nightmare in Sea of Thieves. Oh, damn. Fancy moves, bro. All right. Heal up. Oh, wow. Whoa, we already won? No way. Wow. That was quite impressive. Our crew is... I don't know. In the upper left corner, it says one. I, I don't know if that means health potions left or whatever, but I, I guess it could be rum. But damn. Straight to the bottom. Doing well, boys. All right. One last final ship. Forward, Let's see if the... Uh... Oh, is our ally dead? I don't see him. Wind in our sails this way. We're kind of dead in the water, though. Oh, there's our friendly. I guess the battle at sea continues when we're fighting? Oh, it's September 1st, 1688. So, uh, I guess, uh, take that as you will for information on what's going on in this time period. And or where exactly we are, which I could only imagine we're in the Caribbean. All right. Yeah, the boarding just seems like the best way to take on ships. Uh, our guns and our, like, chain shot and other things don't seem to do enough damage, really. Whoa, sir, I'm I'm trying to be Navy here, sir? Okay, that's great. Oh, wow. Are you working for them, sir? What are you doing? How much are they paying you? How much of the booty are they giving you? You got a much bigger ship. Look at that. That one's got cannons above and below deck? No, just, just below deck. Oh, are they going to board them? Come on, please board them. I'd love to see the AI do something. It'd be so cool to see them grapple that enemy ship and pull them in and see the crew go across and see the gunpowder starting to fire up and smoke on the water like that. Oh, we got nothing. How do we repair? Is there a way? Interact. F. Uh, control. Eyeglass. I, I really don't see a way to re repair at all. We have F2. Control. I guess I'm just going to have to hope that I can plow into them when they swing around. Which, that's going to be hopeless unless they... Wow, they're coming over. No way. Come on. They're doing it. Maybe if I hope they don't ram me. Oh, please don't ram me. Oh, that'd be so horrible. And I would... No. Oh. Prepare oh, the no. Grappling hooks. Oh, we have to board them now. Oh. Wow, same position again. It's like the same fight every time. Sir? Oh, sorry. That was a groin shot. My, my bad, dude. I mean, it's hard to aim. I, you know... It's not like we have ACOG and Red Dot Sights. Okay, cool. Let's heal up. Got all of our One Piece crew over here. All these straw hats. Man, these guys are freaking ninjas, dude. Okay, that's two down. So it looks like every time that we fight, we fight a whole different nation. And the number of ships against us goes up by one. I like that we got an ally. I'm gonna fall back, you boys take him. Get him with the stun lock. How the hell with this, I'll get him. Boys. Guys, st step back. I'm out of bullets. Here, I'll, I'll get him. I, th I think I got him. Probably one of you guys, but yeah, we did it. I'm dancing on the barrels. Captain Morgan, y'all. And that's the legend. That's that's how it came to be. Oh, wow. I almost walked off the ship. Look like two different ships. They may have modeled them for each the independent ship. Going down. I'm not sure, but... Wow. Three out of three on round three. So I can only assume it continues like this. It'll probably be a 4v2 now or maybe a 4v3. I think they'll put us at a permanent disadvantage, but... The demo is to, to survive 10 rounds of this. So, yeah, now it's just uh, four ships versus two. So, same deal, just different numbers and possibly a different enemy. Let's just see who it is before uh, we board them. I want to see what enemy ships await us. Who is it this time? The French? Man, our ship looks cool. So, who do we have here?
It is the English again, I think. Now, that's weird. They were using... Weren't they using the great... Uh, that's... That's the Spanish, but... Weren't they using the wrong flag? I think the, the British were using the wrong flag. I'm not even going to try to shoot back. All right, so that's the Spanish. I think the English were using the wrong flag for the time period. All good by me. We can all complain all day, but it, it's good. It's fine. Noisy! It's so noisy out here. Jeez. And thus concludes our first look at Corsair's legacy. Now, this is just the naval combat, and it's incomplete, and I think they really just want to showcase that to get a lot of feedback on it. But whatever else I have seen looks pretty promising, at least to have an open-world experience where we can buy and loot and do more as pirates. Let me know what you think down below. Glory to Raptoria. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for smashing the join button, subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, all the other stuff. And uh, enjoy all those shorts and such on the channel too. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.